And who do we have here? Um, I'm Alfie Andrew. I'm 12 years old and I'm from Manchester, England. Ooh, Whoa. welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Are you a comedian? No, I'm a singer. <laughs> How does it feel like all by yourself on that stage, 12 years old? I would be terrified, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, I am definitely nervous. Can I say something? The way you've dressed, you are so cool. <laughs> Honestly, Thank you. it just works. You Thank look you. super, super cool. Thank you. Yeah, you are. So tell us a little bit, do you come from a family of musicians? No, like my dad works for like cars and then my mom does like nails and stuff. And your parents came here with you? I know, I'm with my aunt. Hi, auntie. <laughs> Are they waiting for the phone call? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. bet. Okay. Good luck to you. Good okay. luck. Thank you. Adorable. Adorable. Why can't adults be like kids? Because kids are nicer than adults. Yeah. Lady Gaga. He's gonna be good. Hold my hand, everything will be okay. I heard from the heavens that clouds have been gray. Pull me close. Grab me in your aching arms I see that you're hurting Why you take so long To tell me you need me yeah. I see that you're bleeding You don't need to show me good But if you decide to I'll ride in this life with you I won't let go till the end So cry I think the only thing standing between you and an amazing singing career is puberty. Yeah. I mean, I want to buy your record already right now. Yeah. Thank you. It's like, I think you're going to be a rock star. Thank you. You have a very distinct voice as well. Thank This you. Is the first time in America? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think you made the right decision to come here that people are going to remember you and they're going to root for you. And you're so cool. I just can't get over that. All right, shall we vote for Alfie? Yes, please. Yes. Thank you. Yes! Thank you. Three yeses! And I want to give you a fourth yes! Thank you. Come on. I want to see how cool you are. Two guys in jeans. <laughs> That feels good. Yeah. How amazing is that? Look at that. It's America, and they're all chanting your name. 
I got four yeses. <laughs> I got standing from Simon, and he even came up on stage. That boy that has style. He's, he's, he's gonna be a star. star. He's gonna be a star. But he has style. He's but just. I thought eventually. You're setting a trend for the kids. It had to happen one day. Yes. Hi. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Hi. Tell us who you are. Well, uh, my name is Aubrey Birchall. I'm a 21-year-old singer from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Do you earn a living currently singing, or do you have a different job? Um, your girl works at Target. Yes! On my breaks, I scurry off to the, the bathroom and I sit on the floor, I set up my camera and I, I do some singing to keep myself sane. But you really want to be a singer. Oh yeah, more than anything. I, I want to sell out arenas all around the world. I, um, I want Grammys and, you know, most of all, especially as a recently uh, diagnosed level one autistic, um, a very large portion of my life I struggled and I want to show um, other young autistics that are, you know, suffering in silence that you can follow your passion and you can not fit in the box and do what you do and just eat at it. So. I'm already crying. Thank you for saying that out loud to everyone because you're inspiring so many people right now watching you and I wish you good luck. Thank you. Fantastic, fantastic voice. 
You really have the pipes and they sound beautiful. Thank you. And I love your look too. You have a very cool look. Howie, what do you think? Just showing up is a feat in itself. And I can tell you're nervous, but you're incredibly brave and kudos just for being here. What did you think, Simon? The fact that you made that song your version was genius. Absolute genius. Thank and it's you. a great song. Incredible. You know, <laughs> was every no perfect? No, it didn't matter because, you know, I really do believe that we're just witnessing somebody's career about to skyrocket the team. Perfect package. You look so cool. Your voice, the song that you picked, everything was perfect. I think we love you already. I think America is gonna fall in love with you. I think you have a chance to win this competition. It's hard to even fathom this competition. All right, let's vote. Howie. Yes. Obviously, yes. Sophia! Yes! And I'm gonna give you a fourth! Yes! Now you go down to prayer Try to make the world seem better Oh! Feel the way You cut through all this worn out leather Very, 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 Good evening. Hello. Hello. Thank you for coming to AGT. What is your name? My name is Putri Haryani. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Indonesia. Hello. Putri, is this your first time in America? This is my very first time. I'm so excited. I love all the thing in here. What is your talent? I am a singer. How long you been singing? Maybe since I was born. <laughs> and what is your dream? My dream is being the biggest diva in the world, like win the Houston and win a Grammy Award. Oh, wow! Yes! Are you, are you going to school now? Yes, I'm in high school, but I hope that I can get in Juilliard College of Music for my college program. Why AGT? Have you always wanted to come here? I hope that I can win America's Got Talent so I can reach my dream. Okay, we're so happy that you're here and excited. We want to see you. Thank you so much. Good luck. She's so sweet. So cute. Yeah. Does that mic feel like it's a good spot for you? Cool, and the key's good? Yes. Okay, cool, have fun. It's 
Her voice is amazing. Yes. And thanks. you have other. Yes, I'm brother. Very nice to meet you. Yes, to meet you. Uh, does Petrie have a step in the song? Yeah. Yeah. You want to sing for Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah. So you want to sing it for you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. What did you want? Well. <laughs> Another song? Did you like that one? I, I just said to Putri, I like her voice so much. Thank I you want so her much, to Simon. sing a second song, please. The song is special for you, Simon. Well, thank you.
can't, I, I, I can't, I can't believe it. Actually, I, I can't be here now. It was amazing. Thank you. We're all mesmerized by you. Your voice, you're an angel. Thank you so much. I think you just used the word, you know? A lot of people don't believe in angels, and I think one just landed on our stage. Thank you. You're a superstar. Yes. You sounded so beautiful tonight, especially the very first song that you sang, like how you switched from your chest voice to your head voice, like that's how my, you... Sorry? Yeah, sorry? That's my original song. Oh, Thank wow. You. That's even beautiful. more amazing. You didn't even tell us that. They're going crazy for you. Thank you so much. Well, I think we're all feeling the same thing. You know, you're 17, you write songs, you've got an amazing distinctive voice. Thank and you and so I'm, much. I mean, really, really good. You have a kind of a a glow about you. And tell me about your waiting for something at your school. Um, I really want to go to Juilliard. Okay. I don't know whether this is going to make a difference or not. However, he's standing up. A sharp spirit on the ground. Send the flood, gonna drown the mind. This is brave, this is proof, this is who I'm meant to be. This is me. about why you pushed this golden buzzer? Because she's brilliant. Oh, Absolutely! So oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't see There's the gold. Yeah. Yeah. What a moment, Kaina. One more time for Pucci Ariadne! blown away. And you're a great songwriter as well. You make my dream come true. You made my dreams come true. This is who I'm meant to be. This is me. Well, how are you? Good, well, how are you? Good. Welcome, where are you from? Mississippi. Am you a group? Yes, our name is Chapel Heart. Okay, and what does that mean? We grew up in a small community called Hearts Chapel. It's the name. It's named after our family because there's way too many of us. Okay, so how do you know each other? So Danica and I are sisters, and Tree is our first cousin. And because uh, I, I used to love um, American girl bands, you know, from around about the nineties. Best era. You want to bring that back? Yes. yes. <laughs> I hope so. And tell me where you see yourselves in five years' time if you do well on the show. World domination. World domination. I like that. Okay. Who is the biggest diva? Danica. Okay. No hesitation on that one. She's, She's the takes... most dramatic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you've got to have a diva in a group. You have to. So tell me what you're going to sing and why you chose it. So we're going to sing, uh, it's an original song. Uh, it's called You Can Have Him, Jolene. And uh, we've always been country music fans, and Dolly is by far our favorite. Dolly for president. Ah! Dolly for president, y'all. Yes. Uh, we were so inspired by the song Jolene, and we just loved the storyline. And we figured, though, from 1973 to 2022, we could not still be fighting over the same man. Absolutely so not. We no. decided to tell her, you can just have him, Jolene. 
I like that. I love that. OK, well, look, two, three minutes literally can change your lives on this show. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's try. today. I mean, that was fantastic. Amazing. I love you. And I love the choreography going on around you. I mean, it was just brilliant. Let me ask you a question. Have you been trying to get a record deal or a big break? Or I mean, tell me. We've been trying to break into Nashville for the last couple of years, but it's been kind of hard when I think country music doesn't always look like us. And so... Look at me. You know what you've got to do sometimes? You've just got to break down that door. And you may have just broken down the door with that performance, trust me. Howie, I was looking at your face, you were loving it. First of all, not, I believe you broke down the door. I love the song, I love the energy, I love the look. You say country music doesn't look like you. That is your win, because you are going to be the original. Heidi. Your joy is infectious in everything that you're giving, like it's received over here, and I loved it. Sophia. Everything was perfect. The song, the energy. You guys look like you've been doing this for a long time, and I'm so proud of you guys. You know what, Alice, trust me, if I hadn't used my golden buzzer, I would give you a golden buzzer. You can give it a try if you want. Uh, I have an idea. Do you like 
Five, four, three, two, one. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, and what's your name, please? Victory. 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 That's oh. nice. Uh, how old are you, Victory? I'm nine. Aww. Okay. And tell us a bit about you. I live in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And. And what? <laughs> <laughs> and what? Okay. And and tell me what you're going to do today. Are you going to? You're going to. Sing? Yes. Okay. Are you excited? Uh, I'm ex nervous. You're nervous. And excited. Excited and nervous. nervous. You said ex okay, nervous. Ex nervous. Ex nervous. Ex nervous. I love that. Well, that's good. And who are you here with today? My mom. Aww. Yeah. Um, and what would you do if you won the million dollars? Buy Simon a rainbow shirt that has glitter on it. Oh. I love that. Wow. Do you think I need a rainbow shirt? You need some color. Because I only wear, like, normally one color. Yes, white, gray, and black. You got it. <laughs> well, look, let's hope this goes great for you. Thank you.
Oh bird. my gosh. I know. There's a bird just flew in here. She came to visit you. Victory. <laughs> I mean, that is pretty incredible. That is a sign. He flew and sat there for you. Whoa. Wow. That's a sign. OK. All right. Howie, what did you think? Uh, well, I was not expecting that. And you're angelic. And I loved it. I loved it. I loved it, too. You have a beautiful voice. It was incredible. You are incredible. Thank you. I agree. You are a star. I think you have a powerful voice. That was amazing. I really loved it. Thank you. Simon, what did you think? I think, you know, auditioning and turning up sometimes is really, really important for your career. And I think you've been incredibly brave to come here, I have to say. Can I, I just want to talk to Terry for one moment. Terry, let me ask you a question. Yes, yes. Can I have a word? Yes, yes. Do you mind? Sorry. Come to me. Huh? What is wrong? I don't know. What happened? How would you feel if we were to do something different? I just... How do you feel about that? Yeah, a hundred percent. Look, victory, uh, as I said, you know, turning up, you know, in terms of your career is really important. However, um, we're not going to give you a yes today. We're going to do something else we've never, ever, ever done on the show before. We are all going to give you something special. Five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations, Victory. Hello, welcome. What's your name? So I'm Tom Graham from Australia. And I'm Chris Yume from Belgium. How did you meet? So actually, we started a company about a year ago, and because it was during the pandemic, we only actually met in person two days ago. Oh. Oh. And what is your talent? So our company is called Metaphysic, and we use artificial intelligence to create hyper-real content. And so we're going to invite our good friend, Daniel Emmett, on stage, who you guys are familiar with from a previous season. I remember who Daniel is. And we're going to show the audience something kind of amazing. How are you, everybody? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. You were on how many years ago? Four years ago. And you were amazing. And you were a very good singer. So how did you meet? We met because, of course, I'm fans of what they do online, and they're fans of AGT. And when they asked me to be a part of this wonderful, unique, original thing they're going to do, I couldn't say no. Well, look, you're very mysterious. I don't want to ask anything else. Good luck. OK, Daniel, take it away. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you, guys. What did they put together?
on my mind, in my heart, in my soul. I know it's strange, but I love you, Daniel. Simon, I love you too. I've always said, is there such a thing as a perfect contestant, a great singer who looks incredible? We just found them. Honestly, this was the best thing I've seen all day. Oh, thank, you. Oh, thank you so much. And because of you, I'm going to get five more wrinkles because I was laughing so much. <laughs> work to be able to create something so perfect because if I was not paying attention and I see this on TV, I think it's Simon 20 years ago singing. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Don't you love the fact that, you know, talent could be anything and you guys yes. are pure talent to make us smile and make us laugh. That's what we want from whatever stands on that X. So I'd love to begin voting just by saying yes. <laughs> Second, yes. Wow, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think I'm in love. <laughs> you have four yeses. Oh, oh, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If he wasn't sitting beside yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> wow, that was good. And what's your name? I'm kidding you, Susan. Oh you my are. <laughs> God, this brings back so many great memories having you back. I'm happy to be here. It's great to be in America. Ah. America loves you. Good luck, Susan. Is I think so. Let you 
just slide through my hand. You know what, Susan? I can't think of any other contestant who has defined this show better than you, if I'm being honest with you. You're the one. You made a huge difference to a lot of people's lives, and I, I'm absolutely thrilled that you're here. That moment of watching you sing and watching you show up is the epitome. We use that as a vernacular here in America's Got Talent. I said, you know what I want? I want that Susan Boyle moment. I want that jaw-dropping yeah. moment. I want to be the woman that gives you something that you deserve. This is my Hello. It's Hi. On. Hi. We oh. can hear you. We can hear you. How are you? I'm good. What is your name? My name is Peter Rosalita. How old are you, Peter? I'm 10 years old. And where are you from? I was born in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, but I am a Filipino citizen. What would you do with the million dollars if you win this amazing competition? I would buy a Nintendo Switch. Uh, only one? A laptop for my online school. Oh. Yeah. You realize you've only spent about $1,500 so far. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Uh, sorry? <laughs> what do you mean? He's dead. Well, let's see if he does something. It doesn't work. I live as a singer. So you see, he does something for a living. And you're going to sing tonight for us? Yes. Okay. Are you nervous? Yes, I'm very nervous. Don't be nervous. You yeah, don't great. be nervous. Okay. We're rooting for you. Okay, we're ready for you. We can't wait to see what you're gonna do tonight.
voice. Yes, uh, I'm so nervous. Oh, you were so nervous too, but we loved you. Howie, what did you think? Oh, you're amazing. Thank you're, you, Howie. And you're so cute, like even when you talk to us. Everyone says that I'm cute. Everyone. <laughs> well, I predict you're going to go far in this competition. Thank you. Heidi, what did you find? I think you're incredible. What I want to know is like, what do your neighbors say when you rehearse these types of songs? They got surprised. It is so high, you would think like a glass would explode. Yeah. I mean, Mariah better watch out. Yes. Simon, what did you think? That was an incredible audition. Thank you. There were parts during that audition which literally gave me goosebumps. Yes. Ah, goosebumps. Yeah. You have uh, an amazing voice, an amazing personality, an amazing energy. Thank you. Everyone is going to fall in love with you after this audition. Oh, thank you so much, Simon. I think America's going to love you. We're going to start voting. I think the world's going to love him. Yes, Simon. It's a yes. A yes from me. A yes from me. Four yeses. Thank you so much. It's adorable. We did it! Wow! Hello! 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 <laughs> and what's your name? My name is Sarah. Where are you from, Sarah? I'm from Poland. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> My family or, you know, part of them going back in time were from Poland. Me too. I'm Polish. Yeah. So we could be related. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so what made you decide to come on America's Got Talent? You know, um, when I was like little, I was, you know, always watching the videos on YouTube of the show and I was so, you know, amazed by that. And, um, you know, and they said that in America, you know, everything, you know, is coming true. The dreams are coming true. So I check if that's true. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. And how old are you, Sarah? Um, I'm 13. 13? Oh my God. What? 13, oh. yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, okay. I'm guessing you're a singer, yeah? Uh, yeah. Tell me yeah. the song <laughs> you're going to sing and why you chose this song, please. I'm going to sing a Billie Eilish song, Lovely. Okay. I feel it's really emotional, really, the lyrics are really, you know, full. I hope you're going to like it, like everyone's going to like it. Okay, well, listen, <laughs> I've got a good feeling about you for some reason. All right, Sarah. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Here we go. She's nervous. Yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen years old. Oh yeah. Baby.
We've heard a lot of singers over the years, but wow, there are those moments where... Yes. I mean, this wasn't perfect. However, you have a real star glow about you. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you. I appreciate Sarah, it. is this your first time to America? Yeah, that's true. It must be such an unbelievable feeling doing this in front of an American audience, because yeah. I'm guessing this is probably where you dreamt of performing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I can remember when I came to America for the first time, and that was 20 odd years ago. And that was a moment I'll never forget. And I want to make this a moment for you to remember forever. Oh! Where are you from, sir? Um, I'm Roland Abanti. Uh, I'm from uh, Philippines. Ah, oh, the Philippines! What will you be doing for us today? So he's going to sing tonight. He's going to sing for us, okay. And um, so are you, are you a singer in the Philippines? So, ga kanta gi ka sa Pilipinas? Ah, uh, mo kanta ra ko kanang mga silingan nga na ibijukihan. So, in the Philippines, he just sing in the neighborhood where they have karaoke. Ah, okay. So you do it as karaoke for fun, for fun. Can I ask you a question? You have a day job? On sa imong trabaho sa Pilipinas nga makakuha ka kwarta. Ah, uh, sa buntag mangisda ko and then ini kamuto magabalabal driver ko delivery. So in the Philippines, my work is in the morning, I'm a fisherman, and in the afternoon, I, I do drive a motorbike, and I deliver passengers and goods. Wow, amazing. So why America's Got Talent? Uh, in... Oh, you make him cry. Uh, every night I see in my cell phone only, because I, uh, this is my big dream to get there. To be here. To be here. Ah! We will be rolling. Roland, do you want to have a hug before you start, or are you good? Okay, lang kamo kanta karon. Okay, lang. Okay. Okay, la daw. That's the biggest catch of the day. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Roland, are we 
you ready now? Ready na ka? Yes. Okay. Good luck to you. Vamos! He's so nervous. I'm nervous now for him too. This means a lot. Pretty good thing, smile. If she's playing for the poor, this the last one to know. To the love in us, you never see. I genuinely thought for one moment you weren't going to be able to do this. And then that happened. And it actually made me love this audition even more. And I really like you. Yes. That was a great audition. Yes. I mean, brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you. I agree with what Simon said. You know, the be you have oh, a beautiful... Oh, thank you so much, Simon. You have... Oh. No, it's okay. I think he gets excited with Simon, his favorite judge. Oh. Uh, this is... <laughs> Go give him a hug! So can you see the star? Oh, I'm Thank you. I gotta say that I, I think Simon's absolutely right. It's the emotion. And we could feel your heart. And I think that Everybody just heard a life-changing moment. Thank you, sir. Let's vote. I'm gonna kick this vote off with your first yes. Howie. Thank you, sir. Number two, second yes. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Four yeses. Four yeses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. What's your name? My name's Callie Bevier. Hi, Kelly. And where are you from? 
I'm from a really small town in Ohio. It's called Grand Rapids. And how old are you? I'm 16 years old. 16 oh, years wow. old. Yeah. Wow. And what, what is your dream? Uh, my dream is to win America's Got Talent. <laughs> As a singer? As a singer, yes. Who do you compare yourself to? I don't compare myself to anyone. I That's think good. I'm, yeah. As Simon always says, he looks for somebody who's original, somebody who we can hear something we've never heard before. Is that what we're about to hear? Hopefully, yes. I hope so, too. I like the whole look. It's like a little Audrey Hepburn. Oh, thank you. Um, my hair wasn't really like my choice. Um, I'm a survivor of stage three ovarian cancer. Oh, no way. Yeah. I kind of came here today to show people that no matter what you've gone through, to keep chasing your dreams. Oh, what a great message. Wow, you're an inspiration. We can't wait to hear you. Good luck. Thank you. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Like a small boat on the ocean, sending big waves into motion. Like how a single word can make a heart open. I might only have one match, but I can make an explosion. And all those things I didn't say were wrecking balls inside my brain. I will scream them aloud tonight. Can you hear my voice this time? This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove I'm A small boat on the ocean, sending big waves into motion. Like how a single word can make a heart open. I might only have one match, but I can make an explosion. You know, you have gone through an obstacle far greater than anybody much older than you could even imagine going through. And then you come to this point and you make choices and you made the choice of singing that song. Mm -hmm. And that's your fight song. Yeah. And it was so heartfelt and so inspirational. I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. It was amazing. Your tones and the, the way that you fell off the note was just on point. Couldn't have gone any better for you, I don't think. Thank you. You do have a beautiful voice, and I can't believe that you're only 16 years old. I mean, Thank it's you. incredible. Well done. Thank you. Calistus, I love everything about you. Thank you so much. Just, you know what? I just had this feeling when you walked out, I can't explain it. Just your spirit, the choice of song, your voice. Uh, I think you're really special. Thank I've just you. got this really incredible feeling about you. Thank you. I so really much. do. That means so much coming from you. Thank you. It means That's a lot awesome. coming from Simon. Yeah. I think everyone in this room felt it. And I think that, look, you were nervous. I could hear that. Um, but, you know, you get past this stage, I predict great things are going to happen for you. There's something about you. Thank you. Sorry, I've got to do this. And we'll
with the top top pick. Ladies and gentlemen, she's going straight through to the live show. How's it feel? Amazing. I, I don't even know. <laughs> and we'll rise up. Truly special. Like we'll see you on the live show. Rise up. In the Hey y'all. Yes, he's so cute. Hello. How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? Well, very nice to meet you. And who are you? I'm Drake Milligan from Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. How old are you, Drake? I'm 23. I'm guessing you're going to be singing today. Yes, sir. I will be singing. How do I know? You're amazing. I don't know how you do it, Simon. Don't ask. <laughs> Now, I'm presuming that you gig around, I mean, the state or the country? Well, I'm based out of Nashville now. I've been recording my own songs here lately and, and been out with my band. We've been on the road and, and making stories and telling lies. And Yep. <laughs> out of interest, how many, are, how many roughly new artists get signed in Nashville per year, do you think? It's not very many. It's not, is it? So you think this is the platform to showcase your talent best? Absolutely. I mean, back in the day, uh, Elvis had the Ed Sullivan show, right? And, and yep. The Beatles did too, and I, yep. and I see this uh, uh, kind of on the same scale of that, uh, almost bigger, way bigger. Wow. And you have a lot of people behind us to tell if you're any good or not. And they know a lot more than record companies do. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. We always say three minutes, hopefully will change your life. Let's see what happens. Good luck. Thank you very much, thank you. Sir, it is. I think that song's a hit. Thank you. And I think that you're a hit. You're like the new Elvis of country. I think you're gonna break out from this particular song, this particular moment, on this particular night. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love it. I also love that you guys are a, a band. We don't have a lot of bands yet, you know, this season, so I think you are perfect for America's Got Talent. <laughs> Perfect combination. The song was amazing. You are amazing. And I think America's gonna go crazy. The girls are going crazy. <laughs> it's 
sometimes when we get bands on the show for whatever reason it just really honestly does sound like a mess from the minute it starts with you it was the opposite i think this performance should make a difference to what you're doing because people are going to like you the song uh, was really really good as well it was really authentic that's what i liked about it um because i know so much about country music <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, for me, a good song is a good song, and everything worked everything. for you today. And you're very likeable. We haven't got to know the rest of you yet, but I'm sure you are. They are. They are. OK. Right, we're going to vote. Howie? Yes. Four yeses, congratulations. Thank you guys so much. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Yeah. He's a star, yes. and that song is going to be a hit. I bet they're going to go to the finale. What does this mean to you right now? Man, this is all. This is like everything I've been dreaming since, since I was a kid, man. I've been dreaming to stand on that stage. Now we got four yeses, and I, I'm, I'm shocked right now. I can't believe it. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? You look very confident. Really? I'm so nervous. <laughs> What's your name, please? Um, Debbie Dawson. And where are you from, Debbie Dawson? Um, I live here in LA. Okay. Now, are you going to sing tonight? Yeah. <laughs> how did you know? You've been doing this a while. Tell me about you, Debbie. I want to get to know you. Basically, um, music is just like everything to me. It's more than like a hobby. It's my legacy. What do you mean by that? My grandfather, actually, in India, he taught himself how to play the organ by drawing on the concrete with charcoal, like a keyboard. You know, taught himself, and that's how he taught my dad, and my dad taught me, so. Oh, interesting. So they were professional musicians? Yeah, so my dad immigrated here from India. He went to college here. Yeah. One of the practice rooms, he heard someone playing piano, and it was my mom. Cool. On the oh. piano, so yeah, they yeah they fell in love. Are they, they here today? No, they're not. They couldn't That's make it. That's not a good sign. They're in Minnesota. <laughs> don't say if that. The, if the parents don't turn That's up, not that's not true. a good sign. Don't listen to him. It's a good sign. <laughs> well, it is. OK. Would you say this is one of the most important nights of your life? Definitely, yeah. And they're not here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Debbie, what is the dream? The dream would for this not to be a dream and for it to just be my reality. Okay, oh, wow. oh, that's beautiful. Oh, shit. Okay, well look, this is for mum and dad who aren't here and for you, Debbie, good luck. Thank you.
Nelson. Oh, too bad your mom and dad were not here. Yeah, well, they really missed out today, trust me. <laughs> you know, the way you sound, it's so sweet and soothing. You really do have a star quality. Yeah. There's something about you. I wouldn't mind listening to your voice all day long. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I love it. It was beautiful what you just did. I wish sometimes you would look up a little more because I want to see you. I mean, you're gorgeous. And your voice is as gorgeous as you are. And with what everybody else said, I really like the fact that you've taken one of the most well-known pop songs of all time and literally made it your version. I'm going to remember this audition and I'm really, really, really happy that you've auditioned on this show. We're going to vote. Howie, let's start with you. Yes! Heidi. Uh, yes! Sophia. Yes. You now have four yeses. Congratulations. Yes. Um, are you going to phone your mum and dad? Yeah. Can we phone them with you? Yeah, they would love that. Come down here. They better answer. Get them on FaceTime. What are their names, Debbie? David and Sharon. Hello? Dad, I'm FaceTime. Can you turn your video on? <laughs> here, hand me the phone. Look, I'm going to put it right at my mic. Here. No, we want to see you. Hi. No, don't call back. Hi. <laughs> David, this is how your daughter just sang. She blew the roof off the place here. Thank you so much. Why are you not here? <laughs> she told me not to come. <laughs> Debbie, you didn't tell us that. My gosh. Just send the mum and dad under the bus. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Oh, we're the Cowbells! Cow <laughs> Hi, everybody! I cannot believe we're here at AGT! <laughs> Simon! Oh, Simon, can we just we tell love you? you? We love you. Yeah. We love you. I have a crush on you. Oh, oh my God! I have daddy issues. <laughs> Are you going to be singing tonight? Oh, yes, yes. sir. Yes. We're a singing yes. group. OK. Yeah. All right, you ready okay, to sing yeah, it? OK, yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. All right, sirs, music, please. Oh. Oh. I didn't like it. Silence! <laughs> That's it. Full stop. I didn't like it. Simon. But I don't want to be rude, but that whole audition was really dreadful. What are you? I'm actually saying all this to help you. <laughs> Why is it so hard to find somebody with talent? Somebody with a decent voice. Can anybody find me somebody to love? I work hard every day of my life. I work till I ache my bones. At the end, At the end of the day, I take home the heart all on my own. I go down on my knees and I start to pray. To the tears run down from my eyes. Lord, somebody, somebody. Ooh, somebody.
somebody can anybody find me somebody to love every day oh I try and I try and I try but everybody wants to pull it down they say I'm going crazy you love about Simon? Yeah. But it's been no bed of roses. Well, first of all, I did the buzzard with before Simon oh. appeared on stage. Right. But I don't know if this is an act that belongs in AGT. Oh, oh come on. What? Well, personally, I think I've been doing this a little longer than you. <laughs> So, yes. You're fired. <laughs> well, you can't because you're a puppet. Ouch. I love the way Sophia is arguing with a puppet. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of these kind of acts. Me neither. <laughs> I can tell but I thought that was really funny. Thank you. Yeah, and you're very charismatic, by the way. Yes, uh, you as well. Thank I, you. Yeah, very handsome. I feel like I'm in the middle of a weird dream. Me too. Hey, 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 hey. This is a family show, guys. Come on. Heidi. Simon sounded really good. I love the girls. I thought it was a lot of fun. I love the split hair in the middle of Simon. It's perfect. You are wonderful. You are really good singers. You're witty and funny, and I feel honored that you are part of AGT season 18. Thank you. So we're gonna start voting. Sophia? Well, it's a no. No. Come on. Simon. But it's been no better roses. I'm gonna say yes. I knew you would agree. Heidi. Definite yes for me. Simon, what should I give you? Well, I think you should give me a yes. You're the boss! Three yeses! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye. I love the repartee between you and you. <laughs> Simon loves Simon, just like you guys love Simon. Yeah, it's a little meta, you know. Simon loves Simon, doesn't he? <laughs> Listen, if I had if I had a puppet of myself, I'd love it too. <gasps> Hello. And what's your name? Uh, Mandy Harvey. And who's this? My interpreter. What's your name? Sarah. Nice to meet you, Sarah. Nice to meet you, you, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Doing well, thank you. Hello. 
OK, Mandy, so I think I've worked this out. So you're deaf? Yes, I, I lost all my hearing when I was 18 years old. Wow. And how old are you now? Uh, 29. So it's 10 years. Wow. And Mandy, how did you lose your hearing, if you don't mind me asking? I have a connective tissue disorder, so basically I got sick and my nerves deteriorated. So, you were singing before you lost your hearing? Yeah, I've been singing since I was four. So I, I left music after I lost my hearing and then uh, figured out how to get back into singing with muscle memory, using visual tuners, and trusting my pitch. So your shoes are off because you're feeling the vibration. Is that how you're following the music? Yeah, I'm feeling the tempo, the, the beat, uh, through the floor. And Mandy, what are you going to sing? I'm going to uh, sing a song that I wrote called Try. OK, can you tell me what it's about? After I lost my hearing, I gave up. But I want to do more with my life than just give up. So. Good for you. OK, well, look, this is your moment, and good luck. Uh, OK. I don't think you're going to need a translator for this. Honestly, I never think I'm going to be surprised or amazed by people. 
and then you turn up. And with, I mean, just the fact that you are you, but it was your voice, your tone, the song was beautiful. Congratulations, you were straight through to the live shows. <laughs> Mandy, you know what? We found each other. Yes. And you can tell everything's <laughs> like This is a song. And maybe quite simple. Now that it's done. It's got to be What's your name? My name is Angelica Hale. And where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. How old are you? I'm nine years old. And I just found out that I'm going to be a big sister. Wow! Mama! Who do you want to be like? I want to be the next Whitney Houston. Wow! I like to be a superstar. Wow. Wow. And I'm so happy to be here because, like, I've been watching your show on YouTube, and now I feel like, like, I'm in it, and I'm, like, so, awesome. like, awestruck. And not only are you in it, you're in it to... To win it! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Wow. Forever, little girl. Go ahead, Angelica. Okay. Win it for you. yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. Whitney Houston. You're broken down and tired I was living life on a merry-go-round And you can't find the fighter wow. But I see it in you, so we're gonna walk it out And move mountains oh my God. We're gonna walk it out and move And I rise up, I rise up to say, I rise up, I rise unafraid, I rise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again. For you, for you. shouldn't actually happen. <laughs> you're tiny, your voice is huge. I have a feeling we may be looking at a star in the future. Thank you. Heidi. Wow, I had 
had goosebumps everywhere. You're a clever little girl, and you said you want to be a superstar. I think that might happen for you. Let me tell you. Mel B. You are so special, and your voice is so amazing. Thank you so much for sharing this with us today. By the way, Mel B, you're my favorite judge. Yes. So well. <laughs> you are so gorgeous. Thank you. You did an amazing job. <laughs> All right. Angelica, you said you've been watching this on YouTube and you felt like now you're in it. I believe that not only are you in it, I predict that all your dreams are going to come true, young lady. <laughs> Mel, vote. Oh, yes, a million times over. Yes, 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 yes! Thank you! Ivy. Of course it's a yes! A yes. big fat yes! Simon, who did you say your favorite judge was? Me! <laughs> Look, I mean... <laughs> Angelica, you are absolutely brilliant. Love you. I'm, I'm honored that I'm your favorite judge as well. You've got three yeses. <laughs> so you've got three yeses. I'm going to give you your fourth. You have four yeses. Happy you are. What's your name? My name's Jane. When I sing, I go by Nightbird. Oh, that's nice. Nightbird. That's right. Uh, did you sing? Do you sing for a living? Um, not not recently. Where are you from? I'm from Zanesville, Ohio. Okay. How old are you? I'm 30. 30 years old, and the dream is to be a singer. What are you going to be singing for us tonight? I'm singing an original song called "It's Okay." It's okay. Yeah. It is. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What is it's okay about? Uh, it's Okay is the story of the last year of my life. All right. And who are you here with? I'm here by myself. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Um, I have not been working for quite a few years. I've been dealing with cancer. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. All right. Can, can I ask you a question? How are you now? Uh... Last time I checked, I had some cancer in my lungs, my spine, and my liver. Wow. So you're not okay? Uh, well, not in every way, no. You got a beautiful smile and a beautiful glow, mm -hmm. and nobody would know. Thank you. It's important that uh, everyone knows I'm so much more than the bad things that yes. happen to me. Yes. All right. Sing for us. Good luck. Nightbird.
I wrote a hundred pages, but I burned them all. Yeah, I burned them all. I blow through yellow lights and don't look back at all. I don't look back at all. Oh, dang, oh. You know, it's funny because singers come on, and and I and I think about authenticity. You know, when you feel it, when it moves you, that felt like the most authentic thing I have heard this season. That was surprising to you. It was powerful. It was heartfelt, and I think you're amazing. You gave me chills. I mean, your voice is so beautiful to listen to. It was beautiful all the way around. Your voice is stunning. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely stunning, and I, I totally agree with what Howie said. You know about authenticity. There was something about that song after the way you just almost casually told us what you're going through, and oh, you know. You can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. Um, there are, however, there have been some great singers this year. Um, and I'm not going to give you a yes. I'm going to give you something else. chance of survival, but 2% is not 0%. 2% is something, and I wish people knew how amazing it is. You blew us all away. <laughs> you are the voice we all need to hear this year. That was way more than OK. That was, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. God, that really got to me. It pushes all the heartstring oh. buttons, right? And yet she's still so strong. We cannot wait to hear you, Ketchy, so best of luck. Thank you. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Darling, I will be loving you till we're 17. Honey, my heart 
to tell you you're one of the most beautiful people I have ever met in my life because the way you speak and the choice that you made with this song you blew me away Mel you know what first of all I wanted to say how brave you are and how much you standing there right now is going to inspire so many other people seriously thank you now you're singing you have a beautiful voice When you do your trills and when you really put that extra emotion in it, I'm like, yes. But I could feel that you were a bit nervous. Just know you've got the tools to really go for it and don't hold back. Thank you for coming today and auditioning. Thank you so much. Heidi. Well, I love you. And I love the energy that you have when you perform your song. I love your voice. Fantastic job. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, Heidi. Yeah, Ketchy, you know what? What I am most proud about this show is is that it gives people a platform where normally you don't get a platform. But I think what's exciting about you is that there's more to come from you. And if you push yourself and just believe in yourself a little bit more, there's more than even you know I think you're capable of. I really do believe that. Thank you. Okay, let's vote. Can we start with Howie? You are beautiful, and I give you a yes. Thank you. Mel? It's a definite yes for me. Thank you. Heidi? I'm already excited to see you again on that stage. You get your third yes for me. Thank you. Oh, my God. Ketchy, you've got four yeses. Congratulations. Oh She had to go through. Oh my god. I can't believe out of hundreds of people, there's only two oh, yeah. survivors. Wow. Mom, I got four yeses from all the judges. I uh I was just incarcerated for 37 years for somebody else's crime. Ooh. DNA freed me. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, my God. I can't lie. No more of your darkness. All my pictures. Seem to fade to black and white I'm going tired And time stands still before me Frozen 
wasn't here on the ladders of my life. Don't let the sun go down on me. Although I search myself, there's always someone else I see. Just another fraction of your life to wander free. But losing everything is like the sun going down on me. The sun. I mean, um, I don't cry for a whole lot of things, but that really like did it to me, I have to tell you. It just, I don't know, it went from you to me and I felt you and I've been thinking about you and your life. That was very um, powerful. Even though you did 37 years, 37 years that didn't break you. I can picture you watching the show, hoping, hoping, holding to something, and now you're here, and we love you. Archie, you have a really good voice. Thank you, Sam. You really, really do. This is uh, an audition I will never forget for the whole of my life, Archie. Now we have to do the important part. Let's start with Howard. Oh, I love you, yes. It's a definite, definite yes for me. Yeah. And you get your third yes from me. Uh, I'm gonna work out, I'd say we got about 3,500 yeses here. <laughs> Hi, Angelina. Hi. So nice to meet you. You won Norway's Got Talent in 2014. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So tell us, how old were you when you won? I was seven years old. You were seven years oh. old. Oh, you. So you are now 13. I'm 13, yes. You are 13. <laughs> yeah. I've waited 10 years to sing for Simon, and I'm oh. finally... <laughs> So wow. us three have what nothing to do with what's going on no, tonight? No, we don't. <laughs> what, is it, what is it about Simon? He's just amazing and he's a legend. <laughs> he is. He is a legend. Yeah, he is. Well, Angelina, I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Can you just come up to the mic like you're going to be here? Yeah. Mm. True. 
A star, and as they would say in Norway, Jai Elskadai. Oh, thank you. I love you too. And I think this moment, this time on stage, this song, this performance is going to change your life and your career forever. I believe that. Everything about tonight felt like it came from you. The arrangement of the song, the simplicity of it. I've never heard that song in that version before. Seriously, this was an amazing performance. I want to know, uh, that's obviously not you singing, so who's that singing? It's me! <laughs> that's really you? Yeah. You're not kidding me? I'm not kidding you. There's no one behind, there's no one behind no, that screen? No, no, no. <laughs> no. It is 100% you? Yes. Okay, well then you are incredible. Thank you. Seriously? Thank you. Yes, Simon, you are the best. You really knocked it out of the park. I mean, you got all the notes right. It was beautiful, and you're beautiful. 
Well done. You're also beautiful. Thank you. Oh, well done. Howie. <laughs> I can't get the smile off my face. You are adorable. You. That was amazing. That's yeah. why I love Thank doing you. this show. Thank you. <laughs> Celine, I was just pretty impressed to start off with of how confident you are and that this audience didn't phase you. There was no nerves, no nothing. You looked so at home and peaceful up there on stage. Thank you. You controlled those notes and with your beautiful vibrato. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Let's vote. Simon. You got a big fat yes. Thank you. Heidi. It's a definite yes. Thank you. Howie. I'm saying yes. Thank you. And it's a fourth yes from me. We'll see you in the next round. Thank you. Hi, little one. Did you think your sister did a really good job? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Hi. You did good job. You did good job. You did good job. Hi. Hello. And. Um, who are you? I am Kristen Cruz. Hello, Kristen Cruz. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. <laughs> nice and where meet are you from, Kristen? I am from Crowley, Texas. Okay. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 19 years old. And who are you here with? I'm here with my parents, my mom and my dad. Yeah? <laughs> Tell us about you. So I sing, yes. and uh, I make drinks and videos of me singing. At the same time? Yes, yeah. OK, that's interesting. <laughs> I just really kind of just share what my kind of life. What uh, Like matcha, coffee, protein shakes, and yeah. stuff. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Why have you decided to come from there to here now? I tried getting a job at Home Depot, and I was like, you know what? I want to sing, you know? I don't want to not believe in myself and not try, you know? What's the big dream? Um, to inspire people, to, to make them feel that you don't have to be anything else but yourself. I don't have to be the industry standard, you know? I like that. Well, I don't think the industry have got any idea what the standard is, if yes. I'm being honest with you. All right, Kristen. Best of luck. We're all rooting for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did you really think I'd just forgive and forget? No, after catching you with her, your blood should run cold, so cold in the you You're too time and cheap lying wanna be your fool If you thought that I just let this go
unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, was that really you singing? Yeah. <laughs> you open your mouth and you just, you're on fire. I want your voice. Me too. I want it. <laughs> you are like, oh. I love everything about you. You are a star already in the making. I mean, you just have a real gift. You just have it. Thank you. Thank you so much. The moment you started singing, you became so powerful, so confident. It was unexpected, and, and it was sexy. <laughs> Thank you. I was surprised also because we have a lot of overconfident singers who come out here, and they're dreadful. And then you come out, and your voice, I mean, it is what I would call seasoned you know yeah. you're not like uh, you know someone just starting i mean your range your tone you have great taste by the way because it was a great great choice of song you don't need smoothies when you sing trust me <laughs> we're gonna vote now let's we'll start with howie i like her a latte yes <laughs> definite yes for me You've got four yeses. Thank you! Thank you so much. Thank you. So good! So good! That was great. That was like, wow! Kristen, Drew, come here, give me a hug. You are awesome! Thank you. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh my gosh, uh, let me just say, I love you and I watch you on Modern Family. I just Holy. adore you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I am so happy that you're here. You look nervous. How old are you? I'm 10 years old. What? 10? Oh my are God, you of gosh. course you have to be nervous. And where are you from? I'm from Toronto, Canada. <laughs> Sorry.
This moment is unbelievable. That wasn't you singing, was it? No. It wasn't someone behind you. <laughs> like Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. It really was you. And you know what? You, you are you are so likable, so humble, bearing in mind you've got this you must have great friends. <laughs> yeah. Great parents. But yeah. sometimes I do get bullied, so Do you? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well you know we hear this unfortunately a lot, but there's one way. You, you win over bullies, it's by being happy and successful. You know that. Yes. Bullies yes. are always threatened about talented people. So in a weird way, it's a compliment. And it shows your strength that you've come all the way from Canada to be here. And we are honored to have you as our guest. <laughs> it was always my dream to be on AGT, you know? Sorry, that's coming true. What did you think, Sophia? It was amazing. It was breathtaking. You're 10 years old. That's impossible to sing like that at 10 years old. And you know what? Let's see who is going to bully you after this. Tell what's your name? I'm Cody. Hi, Cody. I'm Cody. How old are you? I am 22 years old. Yeah. Who are you, Miss? Who are you? I'm Mom. Oh, I'm hi, Tina Mom. Lee. Hi, hi, Tina. How hi, are you? What are you gonna do here for us today? I'm gonna sing a song for you on the piano. I love it. <laughs> Tina, tell us a little bit about Cody. Cody is blind and autistic. Oh. Wow. We found out that he loved music really early on. He listened and his eyes just went huge. And he started singing. And that's when I just, I was in tears because that's when I realized, oh my gosh, he's an entertainer. So. Yeah. <laughs> in my life and time I've sung a lot of songs and I've made some bad rhymes I've acted on my life in stages ten thousand people watching yeah and we're alone now and I'm singing a song to you I love you in a place Oh, there's no space or time I love you from my life You're a friend of mine But when my life is over Singing song 
job I've ever had and the most rewarding job I've ever had. You just want to give your kids the moon, the stars, and the rainbows. And tonight, I'm going to give you something special. On every mountain, and swim every ocean, just to be Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good, thank you. What's your name? My name is Glennis Grace. How old are you? I'm 39. Should you win this, where do you see yourself going? Well, I have an 11-year-old son. His name is Anthony, and he would love to see me follow my dreams. Glennis, I'm, I'm yeah. curious, before we start. You're 39, you come here, you're a singer. Tell me what's the ambition, the dream here? I just felt like ever since I was a little kid, I knew I was made to sing for lots and lots of more people. Are you nervous? I'm a bit nervous, yeah, to, to sing for you guys and for you. The room is yours. Go ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you. Simon, 
Uh, you know, Glennis, I'm just sitting here thinking, you look amazing, you sound amazing. I feel like I'm looking at a star already. I'm going to be honest with you. Thank you so much. I'm thrilled that you've come on this show. You know, you're just such an amazing artist, Glennis. Wow, well, thank you I'm so much. I'm incredible. Yeah! Heidi. You are absolutely incredible. And probably the best compliment I can give you is that you do sound so much actually like Whitney Houston. It's unbelievable. That's a huge compliment. Thank you. Well, you are hands down an absolutely amazing, beautiful, beautiful singer. That goes without saying. But it's almost like you sounded exactly like Whitney Houston. I want you to take Whitney Houston, embody her, but then I want to see a bit of you. Yeah, I understand. But you are amazing. I'll take that with me, thank you. I have to say that the only reason why you're not a star yet is because we haven't seen you and we haven't heard you. And how lucky are we that we get to watch you explode on this stage tonight. <laughs> not only did you make yourself proud, but you made your son proud, right? Thank you. Okay, I'm going to start this off with your first yes. Thank you. I'm going to give you your second yes. Yes! Definite yes. Of course. Thank you! Okay, Glennis, I get to give you your fourth yes. Congratulations. <laughs> song she's never sang before and puts her own twist on it because if she can do that she can surely do more 100 percent. all of the judges thank you for being so kind to me thank you thank you Tom. all good let's go ah. it's from bgc hello hello Simon. nice to see you again so tom oh, actually no tom introduce yourselves to heidi and howie and everyone else here please um my name's tom ball i'm 24 years old i'm a secondary school teacher i went on britain's got talent i had a most amazing time thank you very much <laughs> a lot of people thought tom was going to win and he didn't it's my first time in la i can win this one is it your first time in america first time in america yeah I haven't actually seen any of the sites yet. I'm, I'm tomorrow. My plan is to go see the Hollywood sign, go see the Hollywood Walk of Fame, see your name there, Simon. Uh, uh, my, my, <laughs> name's, uh, my name's also up there. Uh, well, I'll, I'll make sure I see it. I'll Yours is on the side Just, street. <laughs> I'll find it, Hal. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. I hope he does well. Oh, he's nervous now. He seems lovable. Yeah. Did they love him? Did they, what do you the, think? UK, yes. 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 Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping Left it seems while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain Still remains within the sound of silence and in the naked light I saw ten thousand people maybe more people talking without speaking people hearing without listening people writing
Okay, Tom, I'm, I'm actually angry about something. What is it? I wish this was the first time I'd ever heard Tom in a weird way. You're like Susan Boyle's grandson. <laughs> because what you that. do is not what we expect. For me, this is the best performance I've seen all series. Absolutely. It's surprising in so many ways. You're only 24 years old, and Simon and Garfunkel are a lot older than that. But you do it so right. It really was. You're really amazing. Thank you. It was outstanding. It was larger than life. I mean, you have all the. You can hit all the notes. You have the pipes for it. I thought it was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tom, this is the song, if you'd have done this, I believe you would have won the show that year. Because that Thank was you. incredible. Thank you. something to tell you. I got the golden buzzer. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, so proud of you, Tom. I love you so, so much. Make my dreams Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Nervous. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, and what's your name, please? My name is Michael Ketterer. Where are you from? I'm originally from East Tennessee, but right now I live in Orange County. And... Tell me a bit about you. What do you do for a living? I'm a pediatric mental health nurse. Yeah. Okay. And what are you going to be doing for us? Are you a singer? Yes, sir. So this is kind of a different direction, you coming on a show like this, Michael. So tell me what the thought process was. What's, what's the ambition, the dream here? Well, um, my family's my reason why I'm here. My wife and my six children. Six, six. children. Yeah. <laughs> You know, uh, one of the things that happens, especially because my children came out of foster care, when you're surviving, you can't dream. And that has been one of the most rewarding things, is providing them with a home and a safe environment where they're free to dream. That's nice. And so I'm here because I want to show them that if their dad can live out his dreams, then nothing's impossible for them. Good for you. Okay, Michael, well, listen, we're all rooting for you. Thank you. Love 
love somebody to love somebody the way that I love you oh the way that I love you and though you'll know Michael, you know what? When we find singers on these shows, is it about being technical or is it about being relevant? And sometimes, for me, it's just about being real and a surprise, if I'm being honest with you, because you were so nervous, I was concerned for you. But I think sometimes actions speak louder than words. Northport, Florida. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> and how old are you? I'm 10. You're 10? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Are you here with your parents? Uh, yeah, I'm here with my parents and my brothers. Uh, and your brothers. Are yeah. you the only girl in your family? Yeah. Oh, so you're the angel? Sometimes. Or are you the devil? <laughs> and what do your parents do? Well, my dad owns an ice cream factory. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Best job ever! Yeah. Do you get to go in there and pick all your favorite flavors? Yeah. What's your favorite flavor? Salted caramel, coffee, and chocolate chip mint. Yeah. Literally my favorites. We're on a good start. <laughs> okay, and let's see what you got.
nice come out of that little body. Wow. Thank you. I and mean, seriously, trusted. that was unbelievable. What an amazing person. Your dad's got the best job in the world. It must be magic ice cream. Um, and then you come along and just do that. You are absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Gabrielle. The whole audience was like, you've got to be kidding me. You're that talented. You're just a star, you know? Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. I was completely mesmerized and, and captivated, and your voice obviously blew all of us away, but there's something about your presence. Like, you're so confident and so true to who you are. Don't lose that aspect, because that is what's going to take you on this journey. And you're gonna go really, really far, my love. <laughs> you. Yeah. All right, should we take a vote? I'm shaking. Simon. Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> uh, I really, really am happy to give you your very first yes. Howie. I'll give you the second. Yes. Gabrielle. Don't be nervous at all. It's three yeses. I'm going to give you a yes, but only if we can share some ice cream together. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Four yeses! Hello, everyone. How are you? I'm good. Who are you? My name is Chakra Khan. I'm from Indonesia. I'm 31 years old. Wow. So you are a singer, yeah? Uh, yes. What kind of music do you love and what kind of song will you be singing for us um, today? I do really love blues. I do really love soul music. And I'm going to be singing soul music. Yeah? Yeah. It's called Make It Rain. Make It Rain. Make It Rain, yeah. I want to know, if you would win this, what would you do with a million dollars? I want to have animal shelter. Oh, wow. Oh, you do? That is so wow. nice. Thank you very much. The stage much. is yours. <laughs> when I see you so To refine the beauties of kings And even though I know this fire brings me pain Even so, just the same I think you have a great voice. Uh, I didn't like the track, though. Uh, Did you bring another song with you? Yes. OK, great. Great. Let's do it. I grew up with Bob Marley, and my lad father used to play this song all the time before I go to school. So uh, there's no woman to cry.
Yes, yes. I mean, you have a very unique, very sexy, very raspy voice. Wow. I mean, you do have a voice that really stands out, that you will not forget. It's very, very special. Thank you. What did you think, Simon? It's so rare to hear voices like that. The second song, Getting to Know You, makes you more interesting. It makes me feel like you're more of an artist. I absolutely love your voice. Love it. Thank you. It was so special to hear you sing that. Yeah. You made it all yours. I mean, and that voice of yours is spectacular. Very memorable, unique voice. Everybody was on their feet, and we could feel the emotion. You're amazing. Yes! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. Second yes from me, Sophia. Of course, yes. Simon. Four yeses. We got four yeses. Thank you. We good. Jacqueline, God, give me a hug, man. Thank you. Your spirit you. is amazing. He's got a great sounding voice. Yeah. And it's a unique voice. Beautiful. And when you hear that, you're going to know it's him. Yes. You are incredible. I'm, I'm ready. Oh, uh, you flew a long way, and it was worth it. <laughs> yes. All right, God Thank bless you. Chakra Khan is so amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Brian Justin Crum, and I'm from San Diego. And how old are you? I'm 28. So what's the dream? Why America's Got Talent? I want to be a singer. Great. And who are you here with? My mom's up there. Hi, mom. Aww. Aww. My mom being here is everything to me. I had a lot of hard times when I was a kid, uh, and she's been a huge supporter for me. Oh, wow. My mom has always been my rock, and she's always been my biggest fan. I've been singing my whole life, and she knew how important it was to me, and she encouraged that. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of how hard you've worked. I'm proud of the single-mindedness you've had all your life. In school, I was bullied for being overweight. I was bullied for being gay. I was bullied for, you know, wanting to be a singer. I just begged her to let me live with my aunt and uncle in Oregon to have a fresh start, and... She let me go. I know that that was harder for her than it was for me to, to do that for me. It was a gift that she gave me, and I still to this day appreciate that so much. I've been struggling, just trying to make this happen. Right now I'm driving for a car service. It's paying my bills, but this is my chance to share with the world what I do, and I hope that this is my moment to say thank you to my mom, and uh, I love you so much. Well, Brian, good luck and enjoy yourself. Thank you.
The song is, Can Anybody Find You Somebody to Love? I think tonight you found everybody to love you. <laughs> Brian, you took us to church and back. And I tell you, you what, if I wasn't married and you were straight, we would be in love. Mel, Mel is in a great mood. Don't ruin it. Shut up, Simon. <laughs> Heidi. Well, I just love that you just showed all those people who bullied you, good for you. Thank you. You really gave everything and I felt that. Thank you. Simon. I'm guessing that's probably one of the biggest performances you've ever given, isn't it? The biggest. Yeah. Every ounce of you came out. And the truth is, you are a fantastic singer. This is why these shows exist, is to give people like you, with huge talent, an opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. And when you've got that opportunity, grab it. We're grabbing it. <laughs> Good for you. Well, it's time to vote. Howie? Yes. Thank you. Heidi? It's a definite yes for me. Thank you. No? Of course it's a yes from me. I bloody love this guy. Thank you. Brian, you got four huge yeses. Congratulations. Thank you. Shaking. I'm just, it felt so good. It was everything I wanted. Hey. Wow. I thought you were going to take the moment. That was amazing. That was great. Belted it out. So much soul, too. You yeah. gave a performance of a lifetime. Thank you. In front of America. Oh, amazing. I was seven years old. You did really good, did I? Yes.
Bloody hell, Courtney. You like this shy little thing when you first came out, and then you sing and you're like a lion. I mean, genuinely incredible. Howie, what did you think? Oh, my gosh. You are not from this era. You're from a whole different era. Yes. And I'm a huge Janis Joplin fan. And there's a story, if you ever watch the documentary, Clive Davis, he goes to the Monterey Pop Festival, and he sees this young girl that nobody has ever seen before, that nobody knows. It was the first time Janis Joplin got signed. And that, would, that changed her life. Do you know that story? Yeah. I'm not Clive Davis. I'm Howie Mandel. And I can't sign you to a record deal. The only thing I can do for you, young lady, is give you... Thank you so much. No, thank you so much. Oh, my God. You are absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything like that. Can we give her some love? Oh, my God. It's the best I've ever seen. I am Gob Smack. Amazing. So that's natural, right? She come on beforehand and she says she's scared she's gonna get a buzzer. She thought she was gonna get a red she buzzer? She was gonna get a buzzer. <gasps> you thought you were gonna get a red buzzer, like get sent home. And the complete opposite happened. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, Italiano. Good evening. How you doing? Good? What is your name? My name's Sal Valentinetti. I'm from Long Island, New York, and I came here to sing today. And what do you do in New York? I deliver pizzas for my cousin's place. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, do you have a, a wife? Oh, I'm 20. I'm too young. Oh, you're 20 I'm years kidding. old. Wow. Do you have hey. a girlfriend? <laughs> Heidi Klum. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh, boy. Tell me why you've entered the show, Sal. I want to make something of myself. I want to bring back, like, those Dean Martin-style roasts. Yeah. I want to have fun. How does a 20-year-old get interested in these kind of Dean Martin kind of... That's kind of old My school. grandmother. She ended up passing away, and the music was all I had to remember her by. See, Italian families are our matriarchs are what's most important. My beautiful mother is in here tonight somewhere. And, uh, and uh, uh, you know what? My mother is everything to me, guys. Okay. Well, uh, are you going to be our, uh, our entertainment now? I'm going to entertain you like you've never been entertained before. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. As a matter of fact, I didn't come here to try out. I came here to win. Wow. I like that. Sal, good luck. Thank you very much. Let's go. Let's go, Sally. Let's go, Sal. And now the end is near And so I face the final curtain 
My friends, I'll say it clear I'll state my case Of which I am certain I've lived this life that's full I've traveled each and every highway And more, much more than this I did it my way Let me tell you For what is a man? What has he got? If not himself, then he has not to say the things he truly feels And not the words of one who kneels The record shows Sal took all the blows I did it more Sal, when you want to sing this kind of music, you can't fake it. It's either in you or it's not. And you're an old soul. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, and I am guessing right now your grandmother's looking down at you and he, she probably is saying, yeah, he did it his way. I can feel that. Thank you. I, I got to go up there and hug you and give you a big Come smile. up here. Should I go down here? Oh, this is all awesome. Oh! I'm really glad I'm out of today! Yeah! The day's getting better and better, right? Thank you. Now, Big, what, what are we feeling over here? You know <laughs> what? This. Hang out here. I'm feeling sugar and spice and everything nice. How you doing? You have such power and such control and such tone. That was just flawless to me. Absolutely flawless. I just love the way you talk too. I just love listening to you. She your loves talk. the way I talk. And then I love the way you sing too. So the whole time. She loves the way good. I sing. I do. <laughs> I love the way you look tonight. How Please, you doing? Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Howie. Well, let me, let me, let me. Uh, Howie. Yes. Go ahead. What are we feeling? <laughs> Sal, the truth is, you really are a good hearted lovable guy who has a real talent. I'm giving you your first resounding yes. One yes, one yes, first yes. I have to say yes, yes for me. Heidi. Do you want to know how I feel about you? Do you? Tell me. I tell you right now. You
Thank you, sir. All right, here we go. Hello. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And who are you? I am Lee Collinson. I'm 21. I'm from England. Tell me what the dream is. The dream is to just be making music, whether that's studio, whether that's touring, whether that's singing. I just want to be able to quit my day job and just do music. What's the day job? My day job is a fencer, not sword fighting. Everyone says sword fighting. It's putting up fences like domestic and gardens. Have you been to America before? No, nah, first time. You like it? Love it. The food is amazing. <laughs> I'm paying for it, but it's amazing. OK. What's the song, and tell me, please, why you chose it? It's Dermot Kennedy, uh, Better Days. I chose it because recent times, obviously, been really tough for everyone. And it's just saying that, obviously, we're going up now. It's better to move on. I lost a friend during lockdown. Like, for me, it's very personal, so I love it. OK. And, Lee, it's about well, half past five, six in the morning in the UK. Are they waiting for the call? Yeah, yeah, everyone's got alarms on. My mum's waiting, and yeah, so... <laughs> All right, Lee, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's got to be hard being so far away from home alone. Never this been here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. See, better days are coming if no one told you. I hate to hear you crying on the phone, dear. For seven years running, you've been a soldier. But better days are coming. See, better days are coming for you. Oh, oh, oh. so when the night feels like forever. Remember what you said to me I know you've been waiting Waiting on a train that just won't come The rain it ain't permanent And soon we'll be dancing in the sun We'll be dancing in the sun And we'll sing our song together Sing our song People don't understand at home the pressure that is felt when somebody just walks out and stands on that stage. Yes. And then when you take somebody as young as you are, this is your first time in America, and for you to take all that pressure and just explode it off your shoulders and raise the roof in this room is truly amazing. Great job. Thank you, thank you. Heidi? 
Yes. I think it was worth it going on that 14 hour plane ride to yeah. come here. Yeah. I really liked it. You can sing, you look great, you have stage presence. You nailed it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sophia. I don't know, for some reason, the moment you stood there and started talking, it was like, I love it. I know I'm going to love it. I even told him, it's like, he has such a beautiful personality. Thank you. I was really hoping that you had a great voice, too. <laughs> and it was amazing. Thank you Good very much. You. Thank you. You know what? There's something really charming and humble and likable about you, and you probably don't even know how good you are. Thank you. And I hope this is the beginning of something really special for you. Thank you really very do. much. Thank can you. we can we call your mum with you? Oh my god. Yeah, let's hope she answers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have your phone. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Lee, there come down go. here. Come down come here. Down. Come down here. If she's just woken up, she's gonna kill me. Oh my gosh, she's yeah, in pajamas! FaceTime, we want to see what your mom looks like when she just wakes up. Yeah. <laughs> if she doesn't answer, I'm very sorry. <laughs> oh, oh. All right. All right. Is it FaceTime? Mom, look. <laughs> the screen's off, she's shot. Let me put the, this by the phone. Can you, can you hear us? Yes. This is Howie Mandel, American sex symbol. <laughs> Here. Love your son. Oh. <laughs> Hi. What's your mum's name? Sherry. 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 Yeah. Yeah, he was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just wanted to ask you why you put him on the plane. Because he's absolutely wonderful, and he does deserve to be there. Okay. Well. Actually, I'm messing with you, Sherry. We haven't voted yet, but we just wanted to wake you up. Uh, and it was your son's idea to do this. Don't blame me. You're going to get me Anything in Anything you'd like to say to him? Just, I love him so much. I love him so much. Well, nice to talk to you. Hey, but we have to vote. Oh, OK, fine. You can actually hear them. <laughs> All right. We've never done this before. Lee's about to go back on stage. She must be so confused. <laughs> We're going to start with someone called Howie. Sherry, I want you to hear me give your son his first yes. Thank you. One down. Ready? It's a yes for Thank me. you very much. Sherry, good job. Yes. Amazing. Lee, Jay, you have four yeses. Thank you very much. What is your name? Annie. Annie, Annie, how old are you? I'm 12 years old. Aw, are you nervous that you're here? A little bit, yeah. I love how you look. I love your outfit. Thank you. Are you Australian? Yes, I am. That's a long journey. <laughs> yeah. Did you bring your family with you? Yes. Hmm. Down there. Hello. <gasps> Well, we're very excited that you're here. What are you going to do today? I'm going to be singing. So how long have you been doing this? Since I was about seven years old. OK, so let's see what you can do. Go ahead. Thank you. Go on, Come on, Come on baby girl. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> it's so cute. Me did when I was passing by. 
to do in your life. Howdy, what do you think? <laughs> Howdy to you. His name is now Howdy. Yes. Howdy. <laughs> Combination. That's Dance Monkey, right? Is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah. Y you're a beautiful little dance monkey. You are amazing. I'm telling you that, the, well, you are. It's just so stunning watching you, listening to you. You're a great performer. You sound great. You're a star. And the world now knows you. Thank you. Simon. I can tell how much you love that song. And I like your little twist on it. This is what, a 14, 15 hour journey from where you came from? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a big deal. But while you're up there, your confidence was actually quite amazing. Amazing. Thank you. That was a great audition, well done. <laughs> well, I think we're ready to vote. Um, I'm gonna give you the first yes. Howdy. I wanted to also give you your first yes, but that's taken, so take it. This will be your second. <laughs> Thank you. Simon. Which means it leaves me to give you your third yes. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, young lady. Hi. What's your name? Laura. Laura, how old are you, Laura? I'm 13. 13, are you a singer? Yes. Yes, and have you been doing this for a long time? Well, my mom always liked to sing, and you know, she saw that I liked it too, so she helped me practice and pick out the songs, and here I am. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. Are you nervous? <laughs> I don't know, I just see so many talented people and, you know, just... <laughs> She's gonna do great. I feel it. All you gotta do is sing the song that you picked out, okay? Thank you. All right.
do you feel now? Relieved. <laughs> Heidi? You are born with such a gift. It is unbelievable. I could not stop smiling like you put me in the best mood. Wow. Loved it. Thank you. Simon. That didn't just happen. <laughs> Honest to God, you came out like a jelly. I didn't think you were going to be able to talk. <laughs> and then I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, if she starts to sing, this is not going to work. And then that just happened. I have never heard anything like that in all the years I've been doing this show. Seriously. It, it was unbelievable. Wow. Here's Simon Favet. And what made it even better is the fact that you are such a sweet person, so humble, not even aware of how amazing you are. Thank you so much for coming on this show. Uh, that was really, really, really special. Amazing. You literally made all my hairs stand up on, on end. And you're only 13 years old. And you know what? I think that this show is going to completely change your life. And I'm going to change your life right now. your name? My name is Yoli Mayer. Yoli. Okay, and what are you going to be doing here today? I'm going to be singing. Okay, and how long have you been doing that for? Um, since I was two years old. And how old are you? I'm 21. Really? Yes. Well, listen, good luck. Thank you. I put a spell on you Because you're mine This isn't working for me Because this is feeling very old-fashioned You know, and with the cocktail dress and everything else You're 21 years old Yes. Keep it young. You have a second song? Make it rain. Yoli, I want this to persuade us that you are a great recording artist. Okay? Yes.
Thank you. She needs to be 21, and it's too, I, I feel it. more comfortable now anyways. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. First of all, look, I apologize for what we went through here, but I'm glad we did it because I've just got the weirdest feeling here, Yoli, that we may have just found a solid gold star. You have something special about you more than your voice, it's you. And I just think that, you know, just taking everything back for a moment and just concentrating on you and who you are and your voice and the way you just handled that, I mean, you know, respect. I think you're fantastic, Yoli. Thank you. absolutely adore you. You will go far in this competition. There is no doubt in my mind. Wow. All I can say is, this is your time. This is your time, young lady. Done. Can I just say something already? Whether it's this competition, life, career, you have won. You just won. So let's vote. The vote starts with me. You got your first guess. Mel? Oh, I'm giving you a second guess. Yes. Definite yes. You are fantastic. Yes! Four yeses. <laughs> What is your name? Grace. Grace, you're a beautiful young lady, you know that? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Uh, 12. Are you excited to be here? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to sing? I'm singing an original. Really? Yes. What's it about? It's about me. <laughs> and are the people at school behind you supporting you? Most of my friends don't really know I sing. So they don't know you're here? No. You believe that you can win? Well, I mean, miracles can happen, so possibly. <laughs> Stage is yours. Good luck.
to get found in an ocean of people. Please don't ask me anything. I don't know my name. I don't play by the rules of the game. So you say I'm just trying. show about surprises and you use the word miracle and I think you are a living beautiful walking miracle your original the people not knowing your name is so right and so wrong because I think the world is gonna know your name I think right now they're gonna know your name because you are going right now. predict for you, I think you are the next Taylor Swift. Thank you so much. Wow. Howie's golden buzzer. How's it feel? I feel like this is my kind of just daydreaming. I'm getting ready to wake up. Well, this is going to be a long dream because you're going straight through to the live show. You'll see it in the live Great personality. I can't believe it. You have confetti in your hair. I do. You hear, hear Simon Cow make a prediction that you're the next Taylor Swift? <laughs> Can I get your autograph? <laughs> so you think you've got a star now? I 100% think we've got a star. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, I wow. really do. That is a big the, This wow. girl is special. She is yeah. special. Wow. And I'm now annoyed I didn't press the golden button. <laughs> <I know. laughs> And who are you? My name is Jaina Brown. And how old are you, Jaina? I'm 14. Oh, wow. Okay. And Jaina, who is the person you look up to most? Uh, my mom. Really? Yeah. Uh, my mom. Okay. Let the tears flow. Let the tears flow. That's your baby out there. And Jaina, what are you going to sing? I'm going to be singing Summertime. Great song. Good luck. I think she's going to do really well. You think so?
soon as soon as the music started, you went into your own zone and took us right there with you. Well done. You got on the water, bro. <laughs> You are fearless, you are fabulous. I mean, you had everyone on their feet. I loved it. Thank you. You know, it's really interesting. You're a 14-year-old little girl. <laughs> There's so much poise and so beyond your years and so beautiful and Thank so classic. So Why did you choose that music? My mom, you know, she had me listen to like Diana Ross and The Temptations and I grew up on a lot of old stuff, so. Jaina. I didn't like that. I loved that. Thank you so much. I also like the fact that you understand why artists in the past are important to what you're doing now. Because I think if you're not interested in some of the greats, then it's very difficult to become a great person yourself. I love your voice, but most Thank importantly, you. you've got that confidence. Really, one of my favorite auditions. Thank you. You got a boat now. Absolutely, yes. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Yes. You got four big, but yes. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes, very. When you woke up this morning and it was like, oh God, it's my audition day, what was the first thing that was in your head? Meeting you, Simon. You're my idol, literally. I love you so much. <laughs> and doing my best for everybody. But, but mainly me. <laughs> I get it. You're the best, like, I... <laughs> and how old are you? 13 years old. You know that you win a million dollars if you win the show. Yeah. What would you do with the money? I would buy a guinea pig. <laughs> wow. No one's ever said that. I would call him Simon Cowell, and then my sister, if she gets one, who will call him Howie? <laughs> <laughs> Simon and Howie, the guinea pigs. Okay, well, listen, we're all rooting for you, Charlotte. Good luck. Thank you. There's a guinea pig's life at stake here. <laughs> Name Simon Cow. <laughs> I put a spell on you. Cause you're mine. You better stop the fist you're doing. tell you you are beautiful and sassy and everything all rolled in the one and you blew the roof off the house thank you <laughs> 
Gabrielle. Are you sure you're 13? Yeah, I'm sure. Because, honey, I felt like the rent was due, your man done did you wrong. <laughs> You've got a depth and a soul, and I'm here for all of this. Thank you. Yeah. I think your voice is strong, it's powerful, but it's not overdone. I just love you. Thank you. I can see how much you really respected the artist. I would say to you, if you make it through to the live shows, Charlotte, you got to drop backing tracks, you know, because when you let go, you're at your best. But we've got to go to the important part. How are yes or no? She put a spell on me. It's yes. Thank you so much. Gabrielle. You've got two yeses. Thank you. Juliet. Absolutely, you got three. Thank you. Actually, no, you don't. You've actually got four yeses. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Isn't she adorable? What's your name, please? My name is Chris Clifford, and I come from Sweden. Oh, cool. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, everybody. And I am going to guess you're a singer? Yes, I am. OK. Correctly. I grew up in a, in a, in a small village in Sweden yeah. with, like, top 15 people in it. And almost every one of them were my family. Oh. <laughs> it's nice. I started to sing when I was in fifth grade or yeah. something, yeah. And, and who, who was your inspiration as, as an artist? Uh, you know, I, I began with a lot of rock music when yeah. I was younger, so I listened to a lot of Kiss. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, good luck. We're all rooting for you. Thanks so much. and how much this means to you. How are you feeling now? Man, I... This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is crazy. I mean, this, is, this means everything. You know how they say, sing from the heart? You, 
you wore your heart on your sleeve. We could all feel it, and I think it was amazing. I'm just, I'm just blown away by your talent. I love the hair. Your beard is, <laughs> is flourishing. <laughs> Thank you. And don't you lose those skinny jeans. I'm here for all of oh, it. Cool. Good job. I felt your heart, and I felt your passion, and that's what art is. What I loved about you was what you did with the song, with your vocal. I love people who can reinterpret a song, and you did something special with it just then. It was incredible. Thank you so much. Howie, yes or no? I gotta give you a yes. Gabrielle. It's a yes for me. Give me a yes. Thank you. 1,000% a yes. Oh, thank you so much. You know what's coming. Four yeses. <laughs> mother wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline, Lord I mercy, you're fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> You know how that show works? If somebody's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra, and baby panties, and wear you on a scale, and for cattle, on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? <laughs> you want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> <laughs> the first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show <laughs> I would support. How did I get into this? How do I make noises? I don't know. I grew up making noises. I can't stop it, man. <laughs> when I was growing up, I lived next to an active runway. My father was in the Air Force. So that meant every few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. My mom wasn't prepared for that. Why is the six month old baby making noises? <laughs> now, later on in life, I learned that these sounds can get you in trouble. I'll give you an example. On an aircraft, this is what I did. Not allowed to do this. <laughs> Don't do that on a plane, man. If you go, they're gonna think it's real. I did that. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress, Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so.
Hey, y'all, it's Miley Cyrus. What's up? Okay, dead. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> You do jokes, I do impressions. I got it. I could do jokes. I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? Yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. What? Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> All right. I will do an impression, yeah, and then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay. All right, let me think. King Kardashian. What? You are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. No. It's cheap. It's cheap. Animals, it's a crapshoot. Crapshoot. <laughs> Come on! All right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. That's fine. All right, t tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah. Who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. In what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> yeah. It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. this Merlot pairs so well with a Doritos Locos taco. It's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. And I, I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store, not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they're gonna rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. <laughs> You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was gonna be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. 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 Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you are a victim. Supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. 
I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked in my apartment and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you star You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blessed, right? <laughs> Yeah, she black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that was that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You alive? You are blessed, you know. And I'm I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like, <laughs> who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One, like, who's doing that? <laughs> My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's it. <laughs> kind of clueless, you know, but it seems to me kids today are a little bit entitled. Am I right? Right? Okay. So my daughter turns 16 and she says, Mom, I want to go to Coachella and I want you to get me a hotel room. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm like, you're 16. Listen to yourself. A hotel room. <laughs> I mean, if you can't find a guy who can afford a van by now, I mean, really. <laughs> When I grew up, my mom and her friends, they partied 24-7. You know, they always, always brought flasks on field trips. Okay? <laughs> right? So, I go on my daughter's first field trip. I take my flask. Right? Howie? Right. I'm not going to get on a bus full of first graders sober. Not, not, not ever. Okay? <laughs> I take out my flask. You know, I have a little sip. And all the other field trip moms, they just go ballistic. They're like, she's got a flask, she's got a flask. You know, like I'm some kind of terrorist, right? I'm like, calm down, biatch. I'm not driving this bus. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. <laughs> I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah. Take Santa Claus's laugh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crazy job. I just slide down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. I have a twin sister. And I actually don't talk a lot about being a twin because people ask really stupid twin questions. Like, whenever I say I have an identical twin without fail, someone will go, do you guys look alike? <laughs> we are very different personality-wise, me and my sister. I'm very silly and playful. My sister's very dark and sarcastic. And she has low self-esteem, which is weird, because she has my face. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what it's like when someone that looks exactly like you calls you up and goes, I feel so ugly. <laughs> That is our face. <laughs> you know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. I'm like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't want to get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! 
until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. <laughs> if somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> but the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me, I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I love her. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. And we broke up and I was pantalones. <laughs> yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. <laughs> brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. <laughs> she asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. <laughs> you know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> The first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. 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 Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. I applied to work at the Cocoa Foundation when I was in college, uh, and they rejected me because I have hearing loss. But they <laughs> Yes, boo, the Cocoa Foundation. Uh, they, told, they told me I was a liability issue because if the gorilla were to sneak up on me, I would not be able to hear it, which I can't say with any degree of certainty, uh, <laughs> but probably that seems true. Um, so you guys seem like a nice crowd full of hearing people, so I'm just going <laughs> to toss this question out to the room. Um, what are y'all going to do different if a gorilla sneaks up on you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. I would love to know. Um, that makes a lot of sense. DM me after the show. I'm just desperate to know what home field advantage y'all have uh, <laughs> with your two second head start. Ridiculous. Nothing. Nothing. The only thing you're going to do different than me is die scared. That's it. Um. Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. So on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. The kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. 
The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that, 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now, it does not end well. <laughs> Give it up for my dad. Gerald Kelly the comedian. I love that dude, but he's a loser. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> oh my God. I'm seven years old, and we have the same job. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, he was like, hey, yo, Hunter, are you going to work tonight? If you go in, I'm going. We have the same job. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. We're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> he hasn't even done anything yet. Come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady. She's a snitch. <laughs> My mom would just show up. Where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom. You raised me. <laughs> Don't do this. I'm your son. Come on. <laughs> I'm 34. I don't look 34. I, I don't look any age. I just look like I've been through stuff. <laughs> and 34 is a difficult age because it's not old, but it's old enough that the world's changed. Like, I, I'm old enough to remember time was you saw a fella with a neck tattoo. Well, then you thought, oh, I'm about to see a dead body. Now you see a fella with a neck tattoo. All you think is, oh, this latte is going to be amazing. <laughs> and, and, and you got to do things to stay young. I, I do things to stay young. I, I recently borrowed money from my parents. <laughs> For those of you who've never borrowed money from your parents, the crew will know this, the celebrities will not. <laughs> you have to gather your parents together and go, hello, mother, father, you know how you're supposed to teach me responsibility? Well, you failed, and that comes with a hefty fine. <laughs> I just got broken up with, it was an open relationship, it means you can be with anybody you want. I didn't know this, apparently, the girl can also do that. <laughs> you guys know, read the fine print. And my girl got the first person. I made the mistake of asking her this guy's name. She told me, you ever hear somebody's name and then know immediately that this person is a better lover than you? I was like, what's his name? She's like, Alejandro. I'm like, no! No! Alejandro! You, you, you couldn't be with uh, Eugene, you know? Or, or a Simon? You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. <laughs> listen, listen, if you're not laughing right now, if you're not laughing right now, your name is Eugene, all right? Every Eugene here is like, actually, I've heard they're pretty vigorous, okay? <laughs> yeah. So I, I met this guy, and it was a relief because his name was Alejandro, but his voice was Eugene. <laughs> Straight up, he comes over, he's like, hey man, how's it going? I'm like, much better now, all right? <laughs> As soon as my son touched my finger, I knew I would die for him. I don't even know this dude, but I would die for my son. 
The first time I see him, the first time I touch him, I would die for my son. Isn't that crazy we do that, fellas? Yeah. That's right. Because we wouldn't do that for our wives. What? Oh, I'm feeling the heat from the women. Hey, hang on, hang on. Let me explain. Ladies, hang on. Hang on. Look, ladies, the first time we see you or touch you is usually on the first date. No dude in this world is dying for you on the first date. Now, let me make you feel better about the situation. If you're on a first date and a dude looks at you and goes, I would die for you, you better run. Because that dude's about to kill you. But I would die for my wife now, 100%. It took a couple years, but we got there. That's right. If a car jumped the curb and was headed her way, I would push out of the way and take the hit myself. That's how much I love her. Because we've all dated people we wouldn't die for, right? That same car jumps the curb. You're like, shh, I guess it was their time. I guess it was their time. The Lord works in mysterious ways. I'm the type of guy, ladies, that will offer you my jacket. If it's cold outside, I will offer you my jacket. Uh, but I'm not the type of guy that uh, once you turn that down, then uh, you get cold later. <laughs> <laughs> Offers off the table. You, uh, you obviously make bad decisions, and uh, we shouldn't both suffer for that. I just found out that I might need glasses uh, for reading. So I had to make the hard decision, you know, to stop reading. Uh, I got colors and shapes down, I'm pretty good. I got silhouettes made out. I knew I was getting older, by the way, when I started rooting against the kids in scary movies. <laughs> Remember how you watch Friday the 13th, Halloween, teenagers do something stupid or rebellious, but you still want them to make it, you want them to live. You're like, run in the barn, he's coming, run in the barn. <laughs> Now I'm like, your mom and dad told you not to leave the house. 